Hello and welcome to a tour of Notion's second brain, the perfect tool for organizing your life. In this video, I will show you how to use the template, its features, and how it can be used to supercharge your decision-making and workflow. Before getting started, this template can be downloaded by clicking on the link in the description below. But first, here's how to use it. Let's start by adding a new task. We can use the quick capture buttons to add new tasks, projects, resources, and notes, which will be sent to our inbox for later processing. We can add further detail to the task during this stage, or we can choose to do it later as we process our captured tasks within the inbox. Let's now head over to the inbox where we can add further detail to our task. Simply click on the task to open the side panel. From here, we can change the priority of the task and assign a date for completion. This task has now left our inbox and has been added to our task list. We can process all captured items by navigating the tabs located at the top of the database. To move items from the inbox and into their relevant folders, simply change the status of the item. Let's now take a look at the Areas folder. We can organize our projects and goals into larger areas of life. This helps us to keep our personal life separate from our work and school life. Simply click on an area to view all projects and goals that have been assigned to that area. We can also assign resources and notes to an area if we want to. Next, we have the Goals folder. Here we can set our goals for the future, helping us to keep track of our long-term and short-term growth. We can schedule our goals by the month, quarter, and year that we want to achieve them by. Goals can consist of both projects and tasks, and can be added by using the relevant buttons. We can view our goals by their current status, those that have not been started, those that are in progress, those that are on hold, and those that have been completed. Below this, we can sort our goals by their date for completion. We can sort by month to view our shorter-term goals throughout the year, and can view them quarterly. We can also sort by year to view our longer term goals. Next up, we have the projects folder. Projects are made up of multiple tasks and generally consist of shorter timeframes than goals. We can track the overall progress of our projects and can assign a project duration. Simply click on any project to view which goal it is assigned to and what tasks it is made up of. We can also add resources such as web links and files that help aid the project's completion. We can process captured projects directly from the projects folder if we wish to, simply by navigating the tabs on the database. Similar to goals, we can sort our projects by their status, helping us to stay organized when we have many ongoing projects. Below this, we have the project's timeline. We can make changes to projects by moving them around on the timeline and can change the duration by dragging the block. Let's now check out the tasks folder. Here we can view all our outstanding tasks. As you can see, tasks are automatically sorted by their priority. Similar to projects, we can also process captured tasks directly from the tasks folder. We have a to-do list which can be sorted by tasks that are due today, upcoming tasks, overdue tasks, and completed tasks. To complete a task, simply click on the checkbox. The task will then disappear and move into the completed tab. If a task is completed by mistake, simply click on the checkbox again to move it back. We can also view and edit tasks from the calendar below, changing the deadline by dragging it around, a much simpler way to schedule tasks. We can view previous weeks and can change from a weekly view to a monthly view by using the tabs. Next up, we have our resources folder. This folder is used for storing any digital resources such as web links and PDFs. They can be grouped into topics and are sorted by those that are to be reviewed and those that have been reviewed. Once again, we can process our captured resources within the folder using the tabs on the database. We can easily sort through our resources by their selected status and can favorite those that are of value to us. To favorite a resource, simply click on the checkbox. The resource will remain under the Reviewed or Unreviewed tab, but will allow you to easily access it under the Favorites tab. Below this, we have our topics. Topics work like folders, making it possible to group resources of similar category together. Simply click on a topic to view all assigned resources. Let's take a closer look at one of our resources. This resource has not yet left our inbox, so let's change its status so we can review it later, and let's assign it to an area for better organization. We can also paste web links, attach files such as Word documents and other forms of media, favorite it, and archive the resource. As mentioned previously, we can assign resources to a project to aid its completion. Simply select a project from the list. Let's now check out the Notes folder. The layout of the Notes folder is similar to that of Resources, but its purpose is different. Notes are used to capture thoughts and can be organized by those that are draft and those that have been finalized. We can assign notes to an area, pin notes, and archive them for later. We can group notes of similar theme into notebooks, once again acting as folders to keep your notes well organized. 
Just as before, we can process all captured notes from within the folder using the tabs on the database. We have a section for sorting our notes from those that are draft and those that are final. We can also pin our most valuable notes. To pin a note, simply click on the checkbox and it will appear under the pin tab, making it easier to find. Lastly, we have our notebooks, allowing us to group multiple notes under one location. Next, we have the archive folder. This folder can be used to store completed tasks and any item that is no longer in use but may become useful in the future and provides us with an alternative to deleting unwanted items. To archive an item, simply open it as a page and click the archive button. This will now move to the archive folder and appear under its relevant tab. Next up, we have the review folder. Here we can carry out our weekly review to keep the system clean and well organized. The weekly review is broken down into three parts. The first part is to review captured items over the past week and to identify anything outstanding. The second part is to archive and clean up. Here we can declutter the system by seeing what completed items are no longer needed and what can be archived. The third part is to prepare for the week ahead. Here we can capture new items and view items that still remain in our inbox and can be scheduled for the following week. This template also includes five lifestyle templates, including a habit tracker, a daily journal, a book tracker, a meal planner, and a budget tracker. Back on the home screen, we can access the most important and most frequently used features of the template. This allows us to have everything we need on one page, whilst giving us the option to explore the individual folders when needed. I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, you can download this template by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.